We've been good stewards of our physical resources, and this building is no exception. In addition to supporting the many health majors, students from health adjacent programs study here, such as social work, criminal justice, biomedical engineering, hospitality, and tourism management, computer and information science. They all learn and collaborate in this space. There is also expansive space for our industry partners to work with computer science, graduate students and faculty in GVSU's Applied Computing Institute. And in addition, we want these, this space to be home to our students, and that includes support of our student veterans in the Peter Secchia Family, Military, and Veterans Lounge. Beyond the relationship and longtime bond we've had with the school, in this instance, we also felt drawn to the opportunity to help Grand Valley's health campus expand further, to bring even more high caliber talent to our region, and to, and to continue the partnership between area health systems and the university. We are also captivated by the idea of the interprofessional training that prepares students to work in patient-centered teams, which are clearly the future of healthcare. The interprofessional na nature of this facility is what sparked our family's interest in getting involved and engaging others in support of the center, providing a setting that allows students to strengthen their ability to partner and work with others before doing it on the job. This will be crucial in tackling real life scenarios once they move outside these halls. These kinds of operations are critical to the success of our region and our state, but also our world, because this is going to be good for West Michigan, but ideas don't have geography and they don't have boundaries. So good ideas that come out of this kind of collaboration are going to be good for the planet. And so that's really the scope of what we're talking about today, is making the world better uh, through the investment that you all have made in this place and in this area. We believe that art matters because our collective stories matter. These narratives have the power to move people, to bridge gaps in understanding, and to spark our collective imagination towards building a better, more equitable world. Community, empathy, and innovation were some of the central themes identified through these conversations of this building. It was important to talk about health from a holistic perspective. From the Flint water crisis and teen homelessness to gender identity and systematic racism, these stories provide important perspectives that help our learners grow in empathy and understanding in mental and physical health. Since this building opened in May, we have been drawing national recognition. We are fielding phone calls from healthcare institutions, higher education institutions from across the, the nation, really, that want to come here and tour the facility. The simulation center is not only the, uh, the largest interprofessional simulation center in the state of Michigan, it is its unique design, it contains state-of-the-art technology and resources that no other institution in higher education has in the country. Having this facility so near to our clinical rotations and housing makes our education more accessible and less stressful. It is clear us students were kept in mind when looking at the way this building was created. This is especially seen when noticing the amount of simulation labs and collaborative study space at our disposal. Learning hands-on with the help of simulation labs has impacted the nursing program tremendously. These rooms give us a safe but realistic environment to test our knowledge and skills in situations we will encounter as nurses. Since its opening, the DeVos Center for Inter Interprofessional Health, a mouthful, has been a huge player in my education. It has provided an environment to create early interprofessional relationships with a diverse group of future medical professionals. I believe by forming these relationships early in this building will ultimately improve patient outcomes in the future. DCIH has also created a sense of clarity and calm when studying all of my PA school material. On three, ready? One, two, three, cut!